Alright guys, I'm back. I had to save, that's why I'm somewhere different, but I don't know. I feel like if I'm gonna be taking a break from that stuff, maybe I'll be able to do it. My fingers hurt, because I've been pla I've played like God knows how much of this game today. My the fingers, the three fingers on my right hand are starting to become seriously injured. What's the high score here? 300? Alright. X to speed up, up to jump. That's the game. And um, it looks easy now, but it gets difficult, especially when you start rushing. Oh my god. And like, it, it's not just on you to move the game. It'll move on its own. And by George, does it get faster. So when you get to a certain point, it's better to just let it do it. And, you know, you don't need to control it. And I could just jump over these things, but I'm a little reluctant to, so... Yeah. There's no win in that one. You do not want to be in that situation with a double. You just don't want to, let me tell you. Alright, a hundred more. Oh crap. You can tell it's speeding up, right? I'm sure you guys see it. It's fucking scary on my end. Close, I don't want to mess up. I really don't want to mess up. Now, we may have won, we may not have. I really don't know. So, I think I'll keep going for a short while. Maybe to 400, that sounds good. Maybe to 500, because this game is like so, so. I don't know what made this game hard when I first played it. I don't think Hayward Boy knew how to jump in this game, actually. Like, I don't think he knew that jumping was a possibility when he played it. So it was very difficult for him. I forget how I learned that you could jump, but I definitely didn't know it my first playthrough. Because everything that I knew was based off of what he knew. Oh, man. Yeah, 500 seems good. Because you never know on Masterful, you know? Maybe it lies. <laughs> Alright, we win. There's a heart! Um, now, this game's kinda hard, but like... Yeah, I have to... Like, not really that hard. What's the high score, though? 17,500, same as always. Alright, this game actually is pretty frickin' difficult. I kind of developed a strategy for it, not really. You want to go for combos, though. You definitely want to go for combos. And, um... And health. Health is good. There we go. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. Yeah, it's like you can't cross there once they're once they've touched ground, you know, so it is a risky, risky endeavor. 
Ooh, triple. And the higher your score, the faster they get. And if you don't have a combo, it's really freaking difficult. You know how it is. Not you. Yeah, I knew there was going to be another UFO coming up. Gotcha. Alright, come on, I need the combos. Oh yeah, and every time they hit the ground, you lose a few points. So, that's something to avoid. We're almost at the turbo. Fuck yeah. Oh man, we didn't get any combos with that. That's not good, guys. Ah, uh, hell. Eventually you just get backed into a corner, you know? Like you really do. And it's like you're losing points, but you're gaining more than you're losing, so it's okay. Come on. Ow. Comfortable. Ow. I don't actually see where I lost that health, but, you know. I guess I did. Oh, that's not fair. Basically, you just get this giant clusterfuck. And you use that to clear out your little special patch. Oh man, there goes my last. Oh. It's a hard game. I'll be right back, guys. Rack. I had some food there, sorry. Mm. <clears throat> and then, yeah, you just start back at the beginning. Back at zero points, I was 3,000 away. I was probably one turbo away. And that puts it in a bit of perspective for you. Oh, thank God I got that. Come on. Yoink. You want turbos. Turbos are important. You 
And you kind of have to be in tune with how long it takes for your bullets to re-power or whatever it is. I don't know. Yeah. Can't make that. <laughs> I got a two hit combo on something. And another. Look at me go. I saw that one. Aww. Oh no! try to get combos like right after the turbo ends when it starts counting again. And that is very difficult to pull off, let me tell you. Oh, that was close. Ah! Come on. Oh, yeah, look at that. Bring it. Back in my little bubble. Die! Woo! We did it, guys! And now comes the hard part. Yeah, you thought those were hard? <laughs> oh, no. I did mention that the creator of these games is sadistic, right? Well, Jumper is quite possibly the most sadistic game I've ever seen. And this is the game based off of it. Admittedly, it's easier than Jumper, but not by much. And the uh, counter is off, too. I think we want somewhere in the 10,000 range, not the 7,000, like it says. So, we have quite a ways to go. Why am I so good at this? Because I have done these parts many, many times. Many times. I do like the way that like the jump box levels tend to like repeat themselves, you know? If you guys will notice it. It's definitely really cool. This is like our red power-up, sort of, except it works slightly differently. 
Ah, uh, I always have trouble with this. Alright, come on. There we go. It's difficult, I don't know why. Now, you guys might be thinking, don't! It's not worth it! But it is. It's so worth it. Ow. And if I die, that's fine, because I will never be able to win without this. So, I mean, sometimes I can get it right away, sometimes I can't. It's all about how the cookie crumbles. Ow. So, we'll see what happens, won't we? There we go. Three lives left. Damn. That's pretty good. Ow. That hurt. Come on, respawn. Ow. Yeah, there's no way I'm pulling this off. I don't mean this, this level, I just mean there's no way that I'm winning this. In this go. It's really just not happening. What? Whoa, hello. Um, maybe? Probably not? Can I... Ah, oh, no. Well, let's try again, shall we? Yeah, like I said, this is the hard one. And, like, it's about speed to an extent, but if you... But if the speed cost is like less than a hundred, then it's worth it more to get the gems, because they're worth a hundred. So, yeah. It's all about give and take in this sort of game. This sort of game within a game. It's mean, because you think, oh, hey, a mini game, I'll be able to take a break from the struggles of an untitled story. Nope! Nope, this is just as hard, if not harder. I would be willing to call this one of the hardest platforming challenges in this game. It's just evil. And if you mess up on the early levels, you know it's a bad sign because you need those lives to do the later stuff. Let's see if I can do this in one go. There we go. We got it. It was iffy, but we got it. Ah, uh, uh, ah, no. I knew I wouldn't get that. Ah, oh, I knew I wasn't getting that one either. Maybe, yeah. Ah, oh, no. That was what? There we go. Oh! If you get that one and then you drop, you're fucking screwed. All about the timing. Phew! Same amount of lives as last time. Go fig, right? And maybe if I don't die here, I'll have a chance. Boink. Now I'm surprised I didn't die here last time. Yeah, that gem is worth it, but you know. If you don't get it, you don't get it. It's not something that I would strive for when doing this. Man. I got through without dying again. I am amazed. And in my opinion, those that 400 is actually worth a death to me. So, if you die, then that's fine. <laughs> Honestly, this one's difficult. Ow. I never go for those. I just don't. 